Before starting your project, know what's below. Call before you dig. Contact your local authorities to have lines marked before beginning any construction project on your property. Step 1. Set the posts in concrete using the specified length of either the top or bottom track as a guide. Step 2. Place the bottom track on the ground between posts. Bottom and top tracks are identical and interchangeable. Align the post track inside of the bottom track and raise it approximately 1 to 2 inches above the ground and secure with the supplied self-tapping screws. Step 3. Raise the bottom track up to the post tracks and align slotted holes. Insert supplied bolt and nut on each end and hand tighten. Step 4. Before inserting the infill, notch out the first and last pieces of the infill materials where corners meet. Remove at least 1.5 by 1.5 inches, not more than 3 by 3 inches, of material at the corners. Step 5. Insert one notched panel into the post track, ensuring the arched side is on the same side as the screws will be installed. Insert the second notched panel into the other post track, ensuring the arched side is on the same side as screws will be installed. Adjust overlap to align seamlessly. Apply a small bead of the adhesive. Press panels together while maintaining the proper alignment. Step 6. Attach the top track. Place the top track over the post tracks and align slotted holes. Insert supplied bolt and nut on each end and hand tighten. Step 7. Insert self-tapping screws. Using a 5 32nd inch drill bit, pre-drill a hole in the top track and bottom track where the designer metal overlaps. Insert self-tapping screws. Pre-drill and insert a self-tapping screw in every third rib on the panels. Pre-drill and insert four self-tapping screws on each post track. Step 8. Tighten all hardware to secure the top and bottom tracks to the post tracks and insert post caps onto each post.